CompTIA ITF Plus, FC 0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 66 through 70. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 66. Once a technician finally confirms a theory while troubleshooting a device, what action should they take next? The answer is C. Establish a plan of action. Once a technician confirms a theory during troubleshooting, the next logical step is to establish a plan of action. This means that the technician should devise a strategy or set of steps to resolve the identified issue based on the confirmed theory. By planning the actions in advance, the technician can ensure a systematic and efficient approach to address the problem, minimizing potential errors or oversights. Question 67. Given the following pseudocode, if today is Sunday, which of the following activities does the family have scheduled? The answer is C. Soccer game. In this coding example, we start by declaring two containers, one for weekday, and one for weekend. We then encounter an if branching statement. The first condition presented in the if statement asks us to check if the current day, which is Sunday, is equal to Tuesday or Thursday. Since it is not, we move on to the next branch in the statement. The next branch is the else if branch. Here we check if the current day, which is Sunday, exists in the weekend container. Since Sunday is in the weekend container, we will output the string, soccer game. This results in the answer to this question being, soccer game. Question 68. A desktop technician has connected a printer to a workstation, however, the workstation doesn't recognize the printer. What is the workstation most likely lacking to ensure the printer functions correctly? The answer is D. Driver. Drivers act as intermediaries, enabling communication between the operating system of the workstation and the hardware device, in this case, the printer. Without the correct driver, the workstation cannot recognize or communicate effectively with the printer, preventing it from functioning properly. Installing the appropriate driver ensures that the printer and workstation can understand and respond to each other's commands. Question 69. Which of the following provides the most accurate description of a kilobyte? The answer is A. A measurement of storage equal to 1000 bytes. A kilobyte is traditionally understood as 1024 bytes due to the binary nature of computing. However, in many contexts, especially when referring to storage capacities like hard drives or flash drives, a kilobyte is often rounded to 1000 bytes. This simplification aligns with the International System of Units standard, making it easier for general understanding and marketing purposes. Thus, describing a kilobyte as a measurement of storage equal to 1000 bytes is accurate. Question 70. Which software licensing approach allows a developer to change the initial code and distribute their own variant of the software? The answer is C. Open source software. Open source software provides developers with the freedom to view, modify, and distribute the software's source code. This flexibility encourages innovation and collaboration, as developers can tailor the software to their needs or improve upon it, and then share their version with the community. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.